And welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within and to the Alien Base, where our team have been doing rather well for themselves so far. Uh, I don't want to jinx them, but they have overcome some pretty hefty obstacles. First, a sectopod that uh, came out of nowhere, and then a cyber disc that did exactly the same thing. We've even increased the size of our squad. By one, we have a pet drone named Petrie, who is uh, flying around for us. I'm not going to use him as a scout because, frankly, Lalith is a better one. But uh, Petrie will certainly come in handy. I am so I'm I'm sure of that. Uh, he will be able to offer us a little bit of extra firepower. I'm going to have him keep close to Lalith. Just, I don't want him taking the lead. Because he can't stealth. I don't want him getting shot down. He hasn't got much health, bless him. If I can get through this without losing Petrie, I'll be very, very happy indeed. Right. Let's get everyone reloaded. Is everyone else okay? No. Nope. Let's get that reloaded. You're good. Ravocane, we need you to reload. Ravocane is out of his rockets, which is very unfortunate for us. And Petrie can't overwatch. So, you're just going to have to wait there. Okay. Let's see. All right, well, our team can jump down there by the looks of it. But, as I've said before, I actually quite like using this area as a bit of a killing floor. So, Atheist Cat, let's get you forward, back into position. Now, we're all in fairly good position here. We're high up. If something's down there, or even if it's over on this platform there, we are going to have the height advantage. And with Cerberus around with his squad sight, then when Lelith reveals new terrain, it's quite possible that we're going to be able to uh, make a shot from extreme range. Okay, we've got three enemies. What have we got? We have got three floaters. Cerberus, can you see them? No. No, that was hoping for a lot, unfortunately. Perhaps I should have Lala take a sh... Well... Lala could run from here. And it would draw their attention. And I think I'm going to do that. Or, or I could have her attack. They would get a round of attacks back though. And that's what I don't want. What I'm going to do instead. Where are you, Evelyn? Evelyn, you're going to come and join Lalith over there. What I would like is for Evelyn. Are these Does this offer high cover? I, I'm hoping it does. Rolling out. You're going to get down there, you're going to stealth. We're going to go into this high cover over here. If I can, we'll open up with grenades instead. Drake. Right, I don't need you to be there. I would prefer it if Drake were over here. Slightly closer, but still, still elevated. I will probably be taking Aetheus Cat as well. Revocane, you're going to stay with Cerberus for the time being. Though you do have one of the the lower of our top soldiers' aims. Um, Alright, Aetheus Cat, you're going to start making a run. Let's get over there with you. Okay. Lalith, I don't want you to uh, attack prematurely. And Revocane, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if it is wise to keep Revocane that far back. If the fight is going to be happening over here, Revocane needs to be closer in order to bring his gun to bear. His rockets would be perfect for this, but obviously we've already expended those on, on the sector pod and the cyber disc following it, I believe. Okay. And then move forward. Okay. Now, I don't want us to be engaging from down there because that would be pretty bad for us honestly it is not a good position to be in because we have the low ground that means anything shooting at us gains a bonus I don't know if we have a penalty shooting up but it's quite possible that we would okay so these guys aren't roaming the they are stationary AI well that answers one question atheist cat let's move you forward just a tad uh, all those human shaped shadows it's a little bit disconcerting I tell you 
Evelyn, let's get up there. Now we are probably going to be engaging on the next turn. Uh, yeah, let's get you up here, Drake. This will be a good position for you to take a shot if needed. Revocane, however, I would like you behind these guys to help. In fact, this looks like another potential killing floor, so I may actually just move the whole squad forward. I'm not going to move you just yet. I'll move you on your next turn. Petri, you're going to hang back. Cerberus, I want you to make a mad dash. It's going to be two turns before we can attack because I need one more turn to move Cerberus into position. And then the following turn, he'll be able to actually engage. Uh, Drake, on second thoughts, we are going to move you up here if we can. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to move our whole squad up to, these, uh, up to this platform. Slight change of plan. I'm sure it'll work out well for us. I'll move you on your net. Yeah, I'll move you when Cerberus is in position. I don't want to uh, move you prematurely and activate these guys. Okay, let's uh, take a move. Don't start moving all of a sudden. They could have lured me into a false sense of security thinking that they were stationary when actually they were just taking a break. Okay. All right, fantastic. You have still not been spotted. Though you don't have uh, sight on them, and that is a little bit disappointing, honestly. Okay, where's Drake? Let's move you into position, Drake. I think we are good to take uh, to attack on this turn as long as Drake. Ah, well, Drake can't get up there in time. Okay, yes, next turn then. It will be next turn, and Cerberus will be able to use his uh, sniper weapon. All right, Atheist Cat. Let's get you into position as well. Do try not to activate them. Good, good. Uh, my heart was in my mouth there for a moment. It seems possible that you would actually activate them. But I think we are ready. So, let's get the people into Overwatch who should be. Let's have you in Overwatch, Cerberus. Avalyn, no. Ravkin, yes. Really, Drake? I thought that was a dash for you. Oh. Well, I... Hmm. I must have been... I, I don't know. I was quite mistaken. I thought that was a, a dash, and uh, so we were going to have to take another turn, but okay. It looks like we are now ready. So, Cerberus, pull out your sniper weapon. I'm going to open up with Evelyn, I think. Grenade, please. This should uh, decently wound both of them. Uh, all three, actually. I think there are three there. Oh, maybe the other one is gone. No, there they are. Come along. Come say hi. Uh, really? You're not hurt? I consider that cheating. And Drake can't see anyone to shoot at. That is unfortunate. Right, you can shoot him, you can shoot him. Right. Ravikane, you've got a shot. Atheist Cat also has a shot. Lev has quite a few shots. Petrie, it is time. You're going to move you forward and you're going to take. Uh, and you're going to try and shoot one of these guys down if you can. I'm not going to overload you, Petrie. I don't care what the situation is. Alright, you've got an 80% chance on him. Go for it. Well done, Petrie. It was only one point, but most of my soldiers missed their shots. So uh, I consider that great success. Right. Who are, how are we going to split this up? I could have Ravikane charge forward, but I, I actually like the idea of having him a little bit further back. Because if they just move forward, they're going to be flanking everyone. So that would be very unfun times for me. Uh, dry, let's move you forward. Do we get sight? Yes, we do. Fantastic. You're at 89%. Thank you, aiming angles. Take the shot. Oh, drag. What a terrible time to mess up. Uh, I could move Revocane forward, but that, that would be a terrible, terrible position to put you in. How about this? I'm not going to go for that terrain. No. I can't hit enough of them, and I'm not going to blow up uh, Evelyn's cover there. That would be absolutely stupid. However, ooh, this is a p possibility. I could move in with Atheist Cat, take a shot, and then go for a stun. That is certainly a possibility. Actually, how, where can you get this grenade? Can you hit both of them without destroying? No. Can I get it? Can I convince this to work for me? I just, no. 
No, it's not possible, unfortunately. Okay, Revocane. I am actually going to move you forward. But I'm going to move you forward to here. Besides Evelyn. Uh, sorry, besides Lalith. Okay. Let's go for him, then. Do your best, Revocane. That wasn't your best, but it well, wasn't too bad either. Lalith, uh, Evelyn. No, I, I got it right that time. Damn it! I corrected myself. One day I will I will get better at this. I, I promise. It'll happen. It's guaranteed. Sooner or later, it's going to work. Right then. It is. Can you get there to stun him? You might actually be able to. Oh, that's an interesting shot. I think I'm going to go for a headshot on this guy. Come on, Cerberus. Fantastic. That is exactly what I was hoping you would get. Combat rush. Okay. Aethys Cat, if you can pull this off, I'm going to be very impressed. Are we going to be able to stun from this position? It is possible. No. Are we just on the... Ah, oh, we're on the outside of the target. That is such a shame. But we may still be able to take a shot at the target for free. If so, then we can take a shot at the other guy as well. This is good work so far. Have you got another shot? You have got another shot. Okay, we'll take the shot. Good luck. And, well, you hit. I, I don't know. I think that's a bit premature. But, uh... I'm still impressed. Oh, they are actually fleeing. Oh, they're really fleeing, actually. Alright, well... I had wanted to be able to take one alive, but Cerberus, see what you can do. Oh, decent shot. I still got... Uh, right, Evelyn, you are almost certainly going to take this out. At 100% chance to hit, there is... Well, at 100% chance to hit, as far as I've seen... XCOM, the, the latest uh, versions of XCOM, that is XCOM Enemy Unknown and XCOM Enemy Within. When they say you've got 100% chance, you don't have that always 1% critical failure chance. If it says 100% chance, it's always been a hit, in my experience. So, unless this also says 100%, which it doesn't, no. So, uh, we're, we're good. We're going to go for a regular attack. We should be able to take it out if we're lucky and don't roll low. There we go. And uh, it's fallen into the abyss by the looks of it. Very well. Okay, Lalith. What I would like from you, my dear, is to uh, reveal whichever enemies lie in wait for us ahead. Okay, not too bad. Petrie, you did fantastically well, you brave little flyer, you. I'm very happy you're still alive. I've got a horrible suspicion that I'm not going to be able to keep you as a pet around the base, though. Honestly, if they... If they if, if Firaxis released an expansion that allowed me to keep pet drones that I managed to get to the end of the mission and just have them as pets in my base, even if they don't do anything, but I could just see them floating around, you know, enjoying themselves, I would honestly buy that expansion just for that feature. Price be damned. Having pet drones is all I've ever wanted from XCOM. No, it isn't, actually. There's plenty of other things I've wanted as well. Uh, right. I actually think you guys take... Take some time to reload your weapons. Lalith will reload her weapon on the next turn. Same for you, Petrie. Drag. I can actually move you forward, so I'm going to do that and reload then. That way we'll be in a slightly better position to move forward. Alright. Now, Cerberus, I think you can go in there, take position next to Atheist Cat, and we'll reload there. Evelyn. Yeah, Evelyn, you go ahead and reload as well. We're green to go. All right, Drake. At this point, I feel confident bringing you down into this area. I'm not going to move the the non-cloaked troops much further forward than that. Because I don't know what lies beyond this door. It looks like another power source, perhaps. But I have no clue what else is out there. Is this the command area? I have a vague recollection of what the command area was like. I think this might actually be it. I think this may be the command area, or rather the mission control of the alien base, as it were. And uh, I have. 
unfortunately. A uh, fairly, fairly keen recollection of what terrors lay beyond that door. But, XCOM Enemy Within may have changed the rules on me, so I can't take anything for granted. This is going to be a dangerous area, so I want my cloaked troops to be moving forward in here. I'm not sure if that's going to help them from what lies beyond that, that door, and I'm, I'm sure that at least one of the things that I remember is still there, because I can't imagine that the game would work properly if it wasn't still there. But uh, I don't want that thing to get an, uh, a bead on any of my non-cloaked troops. Especially none of the really, really uh, effective, lethal non-cloaked troops. That would be terrible. Okay, Evelyn, you're going to go join uh, Lalith. And you two will hopefully move in and neutralize the threat before it becomes too much of one, but uh, I think that may be asking for a lot. In fact, if that is the control room, then we should probably step forward just a little bit. I think uh, having Cerberus around that position would be a, a better place. Okay. We want our sniper to be able to take a shot inside should we absolutely need it, and we might. Right, come on then, Petrie. Let's get you down a little bit closer to the Floor, shall we? Can you get over there? No? Okay, you can go there. There we go. And how about Revocane? Cerberus, uh, we'll actually position you there. And of course, you're going to be stealth, so I may even position you a little bit further forward. Uh, Revocane. You're going to move up here. I would put you behind uh, where Evelyn is if I hadn't already moved her. Silly me. Okay, everyone into Overwatch. I very much doubt that the alien are going to come through this door. But uh, there is a small chance that there will be a roaming pack of aliens still. And I don't want to lose anyone because I was impatient. That is not the AVAC way of commanding XCOM. No, 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 no. Slow and methodical. We will win this race. It may take us longer than someone else, but we will win it better. Or at least, I hope so. Right, Revocane, let's get you forward. Okay. And we are about ready to breach this area. If this doesn't end up being the command area, I'm going to feel a little bit let down. But uh, I'm going to pass a turn. Once again, everyone into Overwatch. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay. Actually, I think I missed out on putting drag into Overwatch, but uh, it doesn't look like that was too bad. All right, we are ready to go. Hopefully, these things don't immediately see us, but it's possible they may spot us because I'm stood there if they're right behind the door. No? No, okay. This does indeed look like the command area. All right, then. Lelith, be very careful as you enter. Let's see what we can see. Anything? No. Evelyn. Let's not just dash too far forward. As long as we don't give them a reason to shoot us, if they can't tell that we're there, then they should have no reason to go for a shot. Cerberus. At this point, I think it's safe for you to move forward. But the rest of the troops, you guys, I want you to stand well back. So, go ahead. End the turn. Sounds like floaters or heavy floaters still. Evelyn, where can you get to? You can get to... Well, you can actually get quite far, but this will keep you in stealth, so let's go over there. And we'll do the same with Lalith. Lalith can get a little bit of a better eye up there, but uh, I don't think it's necessary. Let's just get you over here. Uh, what are we going to find? Uh, it still seems like there's quite a lot of room to this place. It... Could be possible that the map is just different from what I recall, but I believe I remember this area, especially the, the slightly different lighting that we've got in here. All right, Cerberus, you know what? You're going to stay there. And at this point, I'm going to start moving the rest of the troops forward. But I'm going to try and keep them out of the way of uh, activating anything if I can. So it's going to be down to Lalith and Evelyn. For the most part, moving through here. And we are just going to be there as backup. Alright. 
Now then, I am a, I, I, I may sound calm, but I am a little bit tense. Right, what are we gonna find? I don't want to go down there. No, I want to be up here. Is that all one move? Yes, it is. Okay. I feel like if I put you out there, you're gonna be in pretty bad cover. But at the same time, I could move here and and you'd reveal something, and then that would be pretty bad as well. Um. Instead, I could run you all the way down here, but... Uh, do I have, have you pinned in the open where multiple things could possibly see you? Or do I go for a rush to somewhere which might offer better cover? That's, that's the question that I'm faced with right now. And I simply don't know the answer. So, Evelyn, you're going to try and remain cloaked. As long, well, I was going to say, as long as you don't see anything, you'll be fine. Right, we've got sight on one enemy. Cerberus. No eyes? Damn. Okay. Lalith. Right, we've got we've got eyes on one enemy over here. So let's position ourselves in such a way that we can take on that one enemy. I believe it'll activate this group, but we may still be okay. Cerberus, it's time for you to move forward. We haven't seen anything truly, truly terrible yet. First, I would like to move Cerberus here, see if that will allow us to engage. If Cerberus moved there, though, you'd probably be able to engage a lot of things. Ooh, that's actually quite a nice position. Um, no, we're going to move here first, and on the next turn, we may be able to take a squad type shot. It's possible, but unlikely, unfortunately. Right, Drag. I'm going to move you in. You're going to start going into Overwatch from this point on. Revocane, can you get all the way there? Oh, you can't. That is terrible. Okay. Let's move you up there then, but that's terrible cover. But I want your overwatch. And finally, Aethys Cat. You can get in here. That should be fine. I really want to try and stun someone if I can get an opportunity to, but uh, I just don't know. Alright, Lelith, you're not going to be going into overwatch. Revocane, yes. Drag as well, please. And that is everyone who can go into Overwatch, so... Oh, no, wait, Petri. Come on then, Petri. You can help too. Where can you get to? Can I get you over here? Alright. Good luck, everyone. Okay, they're on the move. They haven't... Oh, they have triggered an Overwatch. Okay, not too bad. You got... You did one damage, that's not too bad. They are in a position where we could possibly get a grenade on them still. There we go. Bit of extra damage, and of course, Aetis Cat got another shot because of his perks. Now, nothing else is activated yet, but that could very, very quickly change. Right, Evelyn, you are currently still stealthed. I'm going to move you forward. You have got sight. All right. I'm not going to reveal you if I don't need to. Drag, who have you got a shot on? You could go for him. Only a 78, but take it. If you can get the kill, it'll be great. No, of course not. Uh, fairly low chances of hitting here. Uh, damn. Okay, take the shot on him. Oh, it looks like a kill. Fantastic work there, Atheist Cat. Revocane has still got a shot. Lalith has still got a grenade. Now, Revocane will actually have two shots, thanks to his Bullet Swarm ability. And he might be able to take it out with those two shots. Go for it. And it looks like a kill. Fantastic work, Revocane. Absolutely stellar work. Right, at this point, Lalith, let's move forward just a tad. Right, we've got eyes on the next one. Evelyn, you stay there. Cerberus, at this point, you can rush forward and you will still be in stealth. Can you see him, though? Oh, really? You can't? I'm sure you should be able to from there. Ah, oh, game. Why do you cheat me so? 